Do you ever wonder what it would be like if you just started? If you would have given yourself a chance, what would you be doing? And how would it impact the world? This is how I do it. My name is Andrea. I own a local Austin streetwear brand. Uh, we produce hats, apparel that represents Austin in a sophisticated, stylish way. In the crew 512, meaning the crew community of Austin, and 512 is our area code. The purpose of creating the business was to create something um, in Austin for us, by us, and what I mean by that is true Austinites that are born and raised here, like myself and my family, but also for people that just love and take pride in the city, that even if they just moved here, um, it's for them as well. The reason that, or the main, I guess the idea to create the business, how it popped into my head, is really just getting tired of walking around Austin, seeing people rep, all these other metro big cities, Dallas, Miami, uh, New York. Uh, and then when I search for myself to find a brand here in town to, to rep, um, really what came up was the, the like more touristy type of things and the phrase, keep Austin weird. And to me, that's just like a very antiquated type of phrase that, that was given to Austin, you know, over 20 years ago. And I think today's Austin is very different from the Austin of 20 years ago. Um, and so today, I feel like if someone were to visit Austin, weird probably wouldn't be like the very top adjective. And even me thinking of Austin, you know, the, the description words would be sophisticated, savvy, beautiful, um, filled with a lot of amazing people. And those are the words um, and adjectives I think of when creating uh, different hat collections or joggers or the hoodies or the crewnecks. It's just a, an elevated type of um, streetwear apparel that we're aiming for um, just to have new representation of what Austin is today. So when I face adversity or struggles, really only two things get me through it. God and gratitude. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't Jesus saving me from the person I was and placing these dreams in my heart. You know, life obviously isn't easy. Starting a business isn't easy. Risking everything I have from quitting my corporate job with stable money coming in and just investing it all, all my finances into the business, that's not easy. But I'm grateful to have a chance to even chase my dreams because a lot of people don't even get that chance. So when I'm having a hard day and when I'm like, what am I doing? Or maybe this was a bad idea or this is way harder and scarier than what I thought. I remember the passion that's in me for creating things and achieving my goals, uh, starting new challenges. All that is in me for a reason. And God has already been blessing this business and it's just the beginning. So I know there's a way bigger purpose for the company and, and for this brand. This is what Austin has been needing, and I just want to involve the customers as much as possible with the brand. Just keep showcasing them and keep asking what they like, what they don't like. Um, I want to hear their ideas on new colors because this is for them. This is for us. That's why I have customer appreciation posts. I want to make this Austin community or crew, however you want to call it, a citywide family of support and love. And this is just the beginning for In The Crew 512. We're not just a hat company. We're dropping new winter apparel next week. We have some really cool partnerships and big events coming in 2024. So this is just the beginning and I'm very excited for the future, future of the brand, sky's the limit. And I know we just scratched the surface on really what's to come. Yeah, I just want to thank the community that we've already built with the brand and all the support. Um, you guys can reach out to me, to the brand, uh, in the crew 512 on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, our website, of course. We are an online only brand um, at the moment, but we do plenty of pop ups uh, throughout the uh, weekends, most months. So um, be sure to stop by the pop ups. We can meet you and um, try on some hats and some uh, apparel. But um, 
Yeah.